Good afternoon. This is Dave with a second video today of just orchids. We're out here by the greenhouse and this beautiful uh, vanda. You can see what it is from uh, Moat's orchids. It's about in full bloom. It is a beautiful one, as you can see. A nice little purple lip. Good roots. Doing well. Also, that uh, is a vanda that has been in bloom for quite some time, and the flowers are finally falling off. That's also from uh, Moats, I believe. Maybe not. Can't tell. No, no can't tell. Yeah, that's from Moats. Um, we're going to look over in the uh, um, shade tent. We have uh, some more uh, orchids that are in bloom. And uh, we'll take a look over here see what we have. I have a uh, the frag that, uh, what was it, a couple years ago, maybe not two years ago, has got a uh, bloom on it, uh, getting ready to open. This one uh, keeps blooming one right after the other. Uh, this is a Fragma pedalum, and uh, last year they had close to 20 blooms on it, or two years ago when it bloomed. So I'm glad to see that getting ready to bloom again. This one that I showed earlier is sadly about done. Uh, here is one. Uh, this is from Sunset Valley Orchids. And uh, that's one that I got. Mounted it. It's doing well. Uh, Mastabellias are doing well. Uh, my Dracula back there is getting ready for another another bloom on it. Uh, that'll be the third bloom on that stem. I wish it would kick out some more. I wish these Draculas would kick out some more. But oh, here's one over here. Here's a, another Dracula with a bud spike on it. You can see it. Draculas will keep blooming, most Draculas will keep blooming on the, on the same spike and uh, once they start blooming they could bloom for months. Um, there is some more back through here. Um, this one that I had found <coughs> that I didn't know was in bloom the other day, bugs are getting too. Uh, out here under the shade tent. It was beautiful. And it still is beautiful. But, um, sadly it's going to be gone probably before long. My one air plant has got this neat red glow to it, as you can see. Right there, I have a uh, Tulumnia back here. It is in bloom. Right there. Didn't even know it was in spike and found it the other day when I was watering. That's a pretty one. Mounted. Uh, and back through here we have some oncidiums that are blooming. This one is mounted. Large oncidium. Or no, that's not mounted. It's in a hanging pot. Okay. But it has uh, two spikes on it right now. Uh, and back to here. Let's see what else we have. Hiding. There's a, getting to be a lot. Here's a nice sheet of, full of buds on that one. This one is close to opening probably this week sometime. It's a Catalea. Uh, let's see what, what it is. I'm just curious. That one is going to be a leopard. It sounds like it might be one of those. 
Well, here's a beautiful Oncidium. This might be the uh, number three of my, uh, yes, this is number three uh, of my three plant split that they were in bloom earlier in my living room. I just uh, moved them outside and uh, this one is a very nice spike. Nice branching. Very nice. Got new growth on it coming up. Always glad to see that. Uh, and then there is another one I found. It is a, a different one. Uh, in bloom over here somewhere. That one I showed you. It's an oncidium. Like an oncidium. Down here. It's a beautiful little bloom. And that's on a mount. And uh, first time I've seen that bloom. It's very pretty. Right next door to it is an oncidium on a mount. With, uh, we have at least four spikes on it right now. It'll be a while before they bloom. And, uh, so I think that'll probably wrap it up for today as far as what's in bloom. Uh, quite a lot. And uh, last Saturday was a friends and family gathering. We had a little picnic here at the house and I was tied up all day with that. So there was no daily blooms on Saturday. So however this coming Saturday we hope to be back and uh, we'll probably close out with this Oncidium that's in bloom. This will be out more certainly in the next few days. So until Saturday, thanks for watching. So long.